St. Vincent de Paul and Bend feels the pressure on its wallet this season. The organization is struggling to help people keep warm with soaring propane costs. Kelsey McGee spoke with the executive director to hear about the struggles it faces. This is how a lot of people stay warm. This is how people cook their food. It's essential. St. Vincent de Paul is trying its best to keep its clients warm by issuing propane vouchers, but money is putting a strain on this program. When the propane voucher started, St. Vincent de Paul was serving 20 to 30 people. This last month, we issued almost 300 propane vouchers, and the bill was over $8,000. And so it's steadily grown, and it's grown because it's a great need in our community. A Bend resident who asked not to be on camera says she's been using the propane vouchers for three years. Not only are the homeless using these propane vouchers, anybody living in a trailer is also using them that heats with, uh, or an RV, who uses propane to heat or to cook. She says it's because everything is too high. It helps make ends meet because you can't get vouchers for gas or groceries. So it just helps that extra little bit for heat and cooking food. Beginning this month, it's the last month we're going to issue propane at $10 or 10 gallons a month. It's going to go to every other month. So people are now going to have to stretch their 10 gallons into two month periods. St. Vincent de Paul was part of a larger grant with neighbor impact and the money is almost gone. You know, we're only able to do it as long as we can afford it. And that's the unfortunate part. St. Vincent de Paul is looking for donors, nonprofits, and businesses to help continue the voucher program. Anyone that has an account at St. Vincent de Paul can get a propane voucher. For those who don't have an account and would like to, they have to provide their date of birth and name. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.